decided to do um it's just not going to be a quick video so let me not even lie a video about featuring products that i really like so it's going to be like skincare products i've used and i really like and then makeup as well so i don't know if this would be like um a two-part video so leave your favorites for skin and favorites for makeup so i think that'll be easier so i'll just do that so now i'm just going to talk about skincare products that i love and i've repurchased um the first one is the alba botanica botanica um natural hawaiian facial cleanser and it's a pore purifying pineapple enzyme cleanser and i really like this and it's almost finished i need to buy another one again and I really, really like this in cleanser because it's just really gentle and it feels like jelly, like a very liquidy jelly. And I put a review on this on the blog and the link will be in the description box. So this is one thing that I, cleanser that I really like. Another cleanser, and I use this in the morning. In the evening, I use something else, but it's not my favorite. I'm just waiting for it to finish. <laughs> Next thing that I use two to three times a week is the Mario Badescu but that's cool, but I don't know how to say it. Um, glycolic foaming cleanser and I've had this since December and that's how much I've used because you only need really little and what this does this is like a deep cleanser and because I wear makeup all the time which it, not all the time but a lot of time um, it really cleanses like it gives me a deep clean I use it two three times a week depending on how my skin feels and um, it's actually a really good cleanser and it's actually not priced. I think I got this for £13 on Beauty Bay because Beauty Bay carries all the Mario Badescu um, products. And it's a really good cleanser and you can use it for all skin types. One of the, the best cleansers I've ever tried. Another one is the a, this is a scrub. is by Alba again. It's the Pineapple Enzyme Facial Scrub. And I really like this. Even though on my, when I did the review I said it's not my favourite thing. But I find that I reach out to it a lot, a lot. It's... um. It's not, it's a creamy um, texture, the scrub, but it's not tacky. And the beads are really, they're not too small or too big. It's just the right one. It just gives you like the right amount of exfoliation that your skin needs. And also it's a natural, um, it's a natural product and everything. And you obviously it has pineapple. You know pineapple is really good for evening out your skin and just gives a fresh, um, makes my, my skin feel really fresh and clean. Another product that I love that I got, but I wouldn't say it was a mistake because you know when you get um, um, gifts from like companies when you buy so and spend a certain amount of money. Well, this I got from Lancome last year, and it's the Hydrogen Neurocalm um, Soothing Anti Stress Moisturizing Cream in SPF 15. This is actually finished. Um, actually, no, this is about to finish, but I've already bought um, the one with SPF 30. It's the same products but it's so so nice and the funny part is for all skin types and it's the one moisturizer i've tried that has SPF that doesn't leave a white cast on me i use it all the time i use it every day i don't think if i'm not using this it's probably i'm not going out i probably use a moisturizer that doesn't have SPF when i'm not going anywhere that day but if i'm going out i obviously use um this um, moisturizer and it's really good and i think for someone who has combination to oily skin it works really well and it's really hydrating and moisturizing for me and like it saved me during winter so I was happy that I got this in my free um, um, pack from Lancome and obviously I went back to buy the bigger one. The bigger one I think it's a uh, 30, um, no I think it's about 40 ml and so it goes about 39 pounds, a bit pricey but the thing is that you only need really little of this but it's really good moisturizer that I've been and I'm, I think everyone should try it because if you know, SPF always leaves a white cast and darker skin a lot, but this one doesn't. So let me just show you. It's really pink as well. It's like a pink cream. And there it is. And you can see how that just disappears. It actually doesn't leave any cast at all. And it just goes, sips into your skin and leaves it nice and soft. So that's really a good moisturizer. The only problem I have with Lancome, everything has so much perfume in it. It's like... This is so unnecessary, but yeah, I still love it regardless. I'll buy it any day in time. That's one thing. Another thing, I talk about this all the time. If you follow me, in, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I put the link below. Um, it's the Paracashi oil. This I got from Sheer Butter Cottage, and it's a, it's actually a knot 
from Brazil and Shea Butter Cottage um, stocks this um, oil because when I was in Nigeria I was having issues with my skin and my pores were so humongous and I was always getting clogged pores and my skin wasn't even and I think that's because I wasn't wearing sunscreen so and I want something really moisture and it's it's a really it's really fantastic it's like a yellowy oil it's I wouldn't it's it's oil but it feels like serum and it, got, it's, it says um this is a very moisturizing um uh, and this is this is very moisturizer and used to improve in skin tone and to help prevent hair loss. I've never used it in my hair, but I like it. An excellent oil used to use during pregnancy to help retain elasticity. Paracashi oil also con conditions the hair, making it easier to comb and also helps to um, promote shine. I already use it once in my hair, so I, w I don't really, I don't really have anything to say when it comes to hair and this. But I really like it on my skin. Like my, I use it um as my night moisturizer. So it's always, if you follow me on Instagram, I post this all the time. And I'll show you, I put it on top of like a treatment that I use at night. I'll show it to you in a bit. It's just my really good one as well. But it's, and I bought um, today, um, Saturday, um, there was an event here in London in Maidenville. So I went, so I asked um, the owner, Akua, to bring me the big one. So I got the big 250, that's how much. And this is retails for £21. And this retail, this is a 30ml. And it retails for three pound and um, ninety, I think, which is about four pounds. So this is the difference. So this is thirty. This is two fifty, and I'm going to have this for a long time because you only need so you don't need that much on your face and obviously on my skin as well. And you really, if you have eczema, this is really really nice because eczema loves hydrated skin, and this is really moisturizing. This is my favorite oil. So people will ask, oh, your skin looks so nice because if you put this in the morning, and when I and when you wake up, your skin's so nice like radiant and glowy like with me i'd rather my skincare is on point and i don't have to wear that like pylon makeup i think that's when makeup looks most natural and nice i don't like that cakey look so i don't want to keep like piling up concealer piling up foundation to cover my imperfections i rather just work on my imperfections like my acne scars and everything with good stuff so that's a good one i think everyone should try it um well, Next is the Mario Badescu Vitamin C um, Serum. What this is, is an like antioxidant vitamin C. Protects skin from damaging free radicals and is essential in collagen production. This, this serum contains um, 7.5 something something. Okay, basically, this is um, what I said I use before I use this Paracashi oil. Because Paracashi is, an, is my night moisturizer and this is my night treatment. And basically it's a vitamin C oil and it just helps like even out the skin, it adds elasticity, like it brightens it, um, it helps to, it helps to retain moisture and I use this um, two, let me just say four times a week because it's supposed, it's supposed to use it like two or three times a week but I use it four because I really like it and I think it helps, it's really even like when I was comparing videos from last year and this year like when I changed my skincare routine. Um, I've really seen a difference with this and a little goes a long way. I've had this since December, I think, or January and it's only about there now. So you see, you actually don't need much. You only need like three to four drops of this and this really, really helps in boosting um, the glow in my skin. So that's one thing I really like. And the last one that I've been loving and I always talk about it, post it on Instagram. It's the Kiehl's Correct Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. This is the bomb dark, huh? Anyway, this is what happens when you watch too much American YouTubers. Um, basically, it's clinically demonstrated to rapidly correct dark spots and clarify skin tone for deep visible correction. This is the truth. They're not lying to you. You know, like all those skincare companies, oh, after like two weeks, your skin's free, that's bleaching. Anything that promise you it's two weeks is bleaching sorry I don't care that's just too quick for me so this says um, after eight weeks like you start to see visible difference and I think after like a month I saw a difference because I took a before and after picture I didn't take a picture I took a screenshot of the video I made before I bought it and videos I made after I bought it so my skin was really looking nice and smooth it's um this one I always have to apply um, I apply it in the mornings I don't use it at night because I use this at night. I apply it in the morning before moisturizer and I just you only need like two drops. And I've had this since January, so you can see obviously I love it. 
can't remember how much it costs but you can just find you can find them kills almost everywhere in my house with Fraser Debenhams online they have their own website excuse me so this has really really been working for me and because I usually my problem areas are in my forehead because that's where I break out I don't have like white heads I have black heads so my black head leaves leaves scars and I'm always so tempted to pinch them so I always have like black scars if you look at my videos like before I stop wearing the before I wear foundation I have like black patches but this has really helped fade them even the new black spots that I have and the old ones even like once some I had like a couple of months ago it actually helped it's helping to fade it a lot so that's what um that's why I really like this and it's 30 ml I think I bought this for 32 pounds which is not bad for this like for me I, I invest in skincare like skincare is an investment because I rather buy spend my money on skincare than like expensive bags or shoes or watches I'm just more of a skincare person because my clothes I probably get tired with them but the skin, all of this, is here with me forever. So I need to look after it. So and my bags are probably going to tear or like my cousins pour juice in it. Like, so for me, skincare is really like my thing. And obviously, I, I don't, I think with for me with skincare, that I have like, um, I don't really have a price range. Like I think the maximum I ever spend in skincare is something that costs £100. And how much was, I think the most expensive thing I've ever bought for skincare is actually the Mary Badescu, um vitamin C serum because I think it's cost like 40 quid yeah it did cost 40 quid it's on Beauty Bay I got this from Beauty Bay and because it works so I don't see no reason why not and I'm going to have it for another year because the things it's not going anywhere it's just here and I've had it since last year so and I use it all the time so that's it and I know I'm wondering yes I'm making this video in my bed because my neighbours are having a party and the speakers are so freaking loud and this is the only quiet place in the house so I hope you really enjoyed this video if you have any like skincare recommendations um, you can post them in the comment section and you can leave it so we can all see and you can share and just tell us your, what you love what you don't like what people should never try and I hope you really enjoyed this video oh also I watch this video and I've watched it I've watched it like five times, no joke. On YouTube. It's by Pixie with the Big Pixie Sisters and they have this channel where it's called The Body Talk Daily, I think. I'll put the link somewhere. And they recently had this um um video they put up with Caroline. She's she's like a skincare guru and I love her. Anything that has to skin to do with skincare, I'm there. Anyway, you should really watch that video. I'll put the link below. And it's um it's really she has like she gives really great tips and I already have like three things on my wish list that I, that I want that she mentioned. I already have like three things on my wish or four, maybe five things that she mentioned on her. Oh, I'm not wearing any earrings. I just realised um that she mentioned in her video that I really really want to try and they're kind of on the price side, but that's why I said wish list. You just write it in your wish list and things move up to priority so anyway thanks for watching guys bye